So chances are you're like me, you just bought yourself a brand spanking new butterfly knife and you're like, hey, this thing is awesome. Then you flipped it and cut the hell out of your fingers. I did that, but it was a couple days after I got it, so it's cool. But hi, Mr. Man here. Today we're doing a tutorial. Tutorial, yes, a tutorial. I know, Mr. Man doing tutorials? Oh boy, everybody, bunker down. This is gonna suck. But no, seriously, we're, we're, we're doing a tutorial here, so yeah. Deal with it. Deal with it. Now we're going over a couple basic butterfly knife tricks. And my basic, I, dang, that wind is blowing up. You getting, you getting muffler noise right there, son, I tell you. That, that wind is blowing right in your microphone there. Got a piece of foam we gotta put on it. It's like a black corn dog and someone just burnt to a crisp. Where were we? I don't remember. All right, butterfly knife tricks. So, a couple basic ones. Like I said, by basic, I do mean basic. I am a beginner. I've had butterfly knives, butterfly knife was my first folding knife, okay? All the way back in like 2010, so it's been nine years. I know like four tricks. Awesome, ain't I? But now, the four tricks are pretty easy, pretty simple, safe. You can never be safe with a butterfly knife, but at the same time, these are the safest, 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 safest tricks I've found. For me personally, I feel pretty comfortable in doing these, um, in performing them. These tricks I feel semi-safe doing pretty easy to learn. Um, some of them are just variations of openings. Every butterfly knife trick, well most butterfly knife tricks are openings, just variations of everything. They're, they're made to look flashy. One of them is pretty flashy. It's a little more complex, but still fairly easy to get get your head around. So I mean, this is going to be funny because a beginner teaching beginner tricks to beginners, I mean, this is all the ingredients to go massively wrong. So let's hope it does, because stuff that goes wrong is actually pretty funny sometimes. Okay, and the knife I'm actually going to be using for this is, if we can get all the way up to the camera, can you focus on that, you stupid freaking camera? No, you can't. But this is the Benchmade, I got to block out my face because I have face detection on. This is the Benchmade 51. Isn't that thing a pretty little knife? But they're expensive, that's the thing. So I will leave the link to these guys on Blade HQ down below. I'm not affiliated with Blade HQ. I know, thank God Mr. Man is not trying to push an affiliate link this time. I have no no affiliation with Blade HQ, but uh, tell Mr. Man sent you if you want. You know, just plug me, tell him to sponsor me. They left a comment on my knife collection video. I was hyped about that. Blade HQ is a really good company if you do, do end up purchasing. Now, these are a little pricey, but definitely worth it. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get into this, shall we? This is gonna suck. I know it's gonna suck. I have predetermination, pre premonition, not predetermination, premonition that this is gonna suck. <laughs> Can you hear me over the wind noise? No? Too bad. That sucks. There we go. Here's a Benchmade 51. So, first trick that probably anyone's gonna learn, I mean, and this is it's pretty much one of the simplest things, is gonna be your basic opening. That's what it looks like. Pretty simple. Open and close it. Oh, and by the way, yes, I am wearing gloves. These tricks are so simple and so easy. You can actually wear gloves for them. You don't need a ton of dexterity. You can be a mule. I don't know. Or a pig. Or a kumquat. I don't know. I'm just making this stuff up. But basic opening, all, all it is, it's really simple. You hold the, and you should know what the bite handle is, but the bite handle is generally your handle with the latch. And that's where your blade comes in contact with. So this is the sharp end of the blade. This is the bite handle. You don't want your fingers in here or else you're going to get them chopped. So grab the safe handle, which is the side without the latch. For all intents and purposes, there are some weird unicorn battle songs that are the other way. But, you know, unless you're an idiot, you know, and get one of those. Don't get a unicorn battle song. I mean, if you did get a balance, I would think a unicorn would be kind of cool, but anyway, I digress. I digest. Digress, digest, whatever. Close enough. Grab the safe handle. What you're going to do is you are going to fling it up over like this. So, like so. And then you're going to come back down and up. And it's open. Doing this behind the camera sucks, but see? So it's, uh, you're going to pinch it. You want to kind of pinch the handle with your index and forefinger. You can get a couple other fingers on it too, but basically you swing up, down, and back. Really simple to do. Second is actually a easier opening in my opinion, and it's the double rollout. And that looks like this. So this one is actually an easier move for me to do because there's not the, you might throw it when you're trying to ship grips or something. It's pretty much just a, you're pinching the safe handle here and you're just rolling it. See? Nice and slow. One fluid motion. You kind of put a little wrist, wrist motion in here. I always like to put a little wrist wrist motion in, but you can get actually pretty fast with that. Open and close, you're just pretty much just rotating the handle in your, your index and fourth thing, finger here. I can't say fourth finger, about finger. Sounds like think thing arena. <laughs> New grounds, anyone remember that? I does. Just roll it almost like that. I told you I'm a terrible teacher. I suck at teaching. Ooh, look at motion blur. All right, another very well, kind of fun. This is a, this one's a little bit more iffier, but it's, I don't know what you call it, ice pick grip, but it's something kind of like that. It's a reverse open. Basically, you're holding the safe handle, you're throwing it down, rotating the knife, and then bringing it back up. Really, really simple to do. It takes a little bit of practice. You want to make sure you don't accidentally throw this into your face. 
You know, that's usually with some of these tricks. Like at first, I was a little hesitant in doing some of these guys because you're like, oh, I might throw a knife in my face. Yeah, there's that high boss, but I've thrown knives across the room. Never dropped the 51, though. Let's, uh, let's hope that changes as I throw down this hill. This awesome hill. Look at that. Um, now my tripod's gonna go all wonky. So you just a throw down, rotate, and bring it back up. The next one, and I can't remember the name of this. It's a twirl, a full twirl, a half twirl, the uh, ice cream twirl. I, I can't exactly remember, but this one is a little bit more flashy, and it'll go something like this. Now you might be like, Mr. Ryan, what the hell did you just do? All I did is you take the knife, you grab by the safe handle, throw it, and as you're throwing it, you want to, this, this is where my ignorance in teaching comes in, th throw it and bring your index finger to this point. So you want to pinch between your index and middle finger. So it's as you're throwing this out, you're bringing your index finger right behind the blade. So throw it, index finger goes right there. Then you're gonna bring it back, back over your index finger. And as you're doing this, you want your thumb. It'd be nice if we had some light in the situation. I know. You're like, Mr. Man, do this indoors. Yeah, whatever, screw it. Screw you. Watch another video. That's my video. I can do whatever the hell I want. I can film it outside with my setting instead of just like pitch black out here. It looks like night. I don't care. So let's uh let's okay, we just lost this. Let's uh let's try this. Let's start from the okay, let's go back to the beginning, shall we? Let's, yeah, let's do it. So over index finger behind the blade here back over your finger and then your thumb is going to come behind your safe handle here and pinching kind of between your index yeah i just got way out of frame i'm like yeah look at look at this see see look at look at up here listen look at go look up look up come on keep looking up keep looking up kids okay down here get back let's start this again this is like the third time i told you i suck at teaching this is why i'm not a professor i i'd be like okay kids we're gonna talk about world war ii do you know about the moon landing and the titanic do you know where rice comes from? I get like way off track. Anyway, I digest again. Index finger behind the blade. So flip out index finger back, pop it back over and then pinch between your thumb and index finger and just simply flip up. So I'll do it kind of in slow, slow, slowish motion. Over. Okay, I can't do it in slow motion. Back and up. And you can close it the same way too. Now someone right now is furiously madly typing on the keyboard. This tutorial shocks. Yeah, it does kid. There's a billion other YouTube videos talking about how to do butterfly knife tricks. No one's stopping you from clicking on one of those. YouTube's free. In communist Russia here, you can click on whatever the hells you want. The X button is right up there. You can X on your browser if you're that mad. But my video's funny, you do gotta admit, my video's hilarious. All right, one more time for the stupid people that weren't keeping track, or that were keeping track, but because your teacher is a massive idiot, you couldn't keep track. <laughs> Throw it, index finger behind the blade, back over your index finger, pinch, and twirl up. Looks pretty imp uh, I just messed that up massively. There we go. Looks pretty impressive. It's kind of a fun move to do. That's, it's actually a pretty good closer. Because see, look, your knife's open like this and you like that. And then you can easily just close your latch. That's mainly my closer. So like I'll open it up. I'll do a full twirl to open. Not a twirl. I'm sorry. A double roll out to open. I'll double roll out, cut whatever I need to, then do the twirl to close. Yeah, like that. Boom. Back in my pocket. Yeah, flippy throwing knives. Woo! I didn't just throw it. I should have, that would have been funny. That would have been hilarious. As this video goes on, I'm just, I just keep opening up my aperture more and more so the background's getting more and more blurry because it's getting darker and darker out here. Cameras for the win, kids. Anyway, hope you got some value out of that video. Probably didn't, but whatever. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike and an angry comment down below. I actually love reading angry comments. There was one the other day I was standing in line at McDonald's. I actually LOL'd literally. I started laughing because it was uh, my, one of my Zippo, uh, my last video that I put up, or one of my last videos, the, uh, the Zippo, the armored Zippo, and I mentioned that it was thick. And the guy was like, the only thing that got thicker here was the Coke lines. No, I don't do Coke, but that's a running joke. I actually got an idea for some merch that we're gonna, maybe, maybe, Mr. May might be coming out with some merch. Maybe, I don't know, possibly. It would be kind of funny if I did. But yeah, anyway, butterfly knives are kind of fun. Um, do it, do them safely if you're gonna play with them. There is no safe way to play with a butterfly knife. I mean, I'm just gonna put that out there. These tricks are safer, in my opinion. They're good for beginners. I think you can tell out of frame. But they're pretty good for beginners. Like I said, I am a massive beginner. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. I mean, learning from a new. It's like, you know, a preschooler teaching preschoolers. I mean, <laughs> what do you expect? You gotta end up with a dumpster fire. That's pretty much what America is nowadays. Anyway, let's not get political here. <coughs> yeah. Don't think I have any nuggets. Can't talk. Don't think I have any other nuggets of wisdom for you. So, until next time, or tomorrow, or the week after, or Sunday. Oh wait, today is Sunday. <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Let's hope to God it's not a tutorial. Oh wait, it probably is. So I got titanium scales from this guy coming. I'm gonna flame anno them, hopefully. And I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to flame anodize. I've already done that before, but uh, hell, I can do it again. 
which is my dang channel. I can make whatever the hell I please. <laughs> He's got like really, really like, I can do whatever I please and you know, you can't stop me. All right, I am getting out of here. Dang, monsters are fun, aren't they? Slamming monsters before YouTube videos is fun. I'm just kidding, I gotta come back. I need my camera. I can't leave this thing. This thing was too expensive.